everyone, and welcome to wait for Jerry to get in here. Hey, folks. Welcome to Super Fun Wacky Wednesday. Fun times, fun times. Yeah, we're always science. Having, yeah, we love science. We're always having the greatest time here at the Recreation and Community Services Department. Trouble with lights today. I know. Yeah, a little bit of trouble with the lights. It's all good. I also tell you a couple of different experiments that we're doing today. Yeah. Um, so uh, the first one we're going to try is soda and Mentos. Okay. Boy. Okay, I'm just going to grab my phone because okay. I want to uh, want to monitor the page as well, just okay. in case anybody's asking questions. So, folks, if this is new to anybody, uh, if you kindly want to shoot us a question, uh, comment, uh, what you think is going to happen, uh, anybody that's done this before, I'm just going to move these out of here. So, Kelly, you were telling me this is your first time doing this. I know, I've never done this before. Hence, why Jerry's making me the guinea pig to do this because he's seen the reactions before. So here we go. Are we ready? He says not to put my face there. So I, I'm going to try to do it very uh, carefully. That's instant, he says. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, not bad, not bad. Phew, I thought okay. it was going to really fly up to the ceiling. I was just expecting saying. more of a pop from that. Film. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's try to ramp it up a bit. Okay, we're going to try to ramp it up a bit. We're going to go. So, with safety okay. first. Safety first, yep. Oops, I was supposed to put those goggles on first. Oh boy, here we go. So Kelly, okay. that was just one, right? That was one Mentos one. Okay, we're gonna try this one with two. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, come on. This one may be a little bit busier. Okay, over oh here. I'm nervous. Just saying. Okay. Oh boy, it's still going over there. Here we go. One and two. Oh, yes! Woo! A little bit higher. <laughs> Phew, not up to the ceiling. I thought Ben was gonna have the have to have a mess to clean up later. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah. It's still going. Still it's going. still going. So Kelly, now I've always been curious. I've only ever done this with the dark cola, so I'm always curious. Is it going to work the same reaction mm. with a light color? Okay. So, so let's give that a whirl. How many okay. more buddies? Let's go one more two. So far. Oh my gosh. He's popping yeah. me and smashing me. He's, he's gone crazy, everyone. Crazy. So hold on. I gotta get the four of them out. Well, he opens that up, and we'll see what this mess is going to be. So folks, if you're out there, feel free to drop us uh, a question, uh, what you think is going to happen. Uh, let's make this as interactive as we can. So yeah. here we go. Light, I roll got up. four. Here we four. go. Minimum. Oh, so you got to do it fast. Go. One. I can't. Two. <laughs> 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 I only got three in there because I was too slow. And now I'm full of pop. How wonderful. But you just was pretty much the same. We're not as, not as crazy, I don't think. No. No. I, uh, I sort of fixed it this morning. You got any more you need? Imagine. I do. Okay, we're okay. We're gonna try it one last time. I'm not sure how the reaction is gonna work, oh, but this is what science is all about: is experimentation. Okay. So let's okay. try and unwrap that. We're gonna push in whatever's left. Oh my there. blessing! Here we go. This is this is all fun and games. Okay. Oh, okay. uh, I'm not gonna get a big reaction from no. that. No. Not a lot left to react with. So, Jerry, I think you looked this up earlier, did you not? And what did it say? Yeah. So it said basically what happens is that the mint candy reacts with carbon dioxide, so it dissolves carbon dioxide and converts it back over to its gas form, which then causes the bubbles and the reaction. Okay, well. So folks, what we want to say is if you're going to do this one at home, as you can see, we've got a big tub here. Yeah. Um, if you do have a big tub, by all means, uh, other than that, I suggest doing do it inside. inside. Of course, it's not very nice inside today, so hence why we're inside doing this one. Absolutely. All right. All right. We've got a few more here now. Yep. We've we'll got to move our table. Hold on one sec. So Jerry, we're going to be doing these once a month as well, yep. so people can see us, you know, once a month for Craft Corner, and once a month for um, Super Fun Wacky Wednesdays. So Super, Super Fun Wacky Wednesday, of course, is all about science, as I feel as though Jerry kind of looks like the science guy. Oh boy, Jerry, here we are. So we did an experiment. Yep, so we started this one about a week ago. I think about a week ago, yep. yeah. So we, uh, we just picked up a loaf of bread. And we wanted to do an experiment with uh, clean hands, uh, dirty hands, and then a complete control uh, right. group. I'm just checking there. See so uh, comments. we do have. Ooh, we've got some people watching. Lovely. Awesome. Thanks, guys. So this experiment really kind of came out of you were kind of looking on our favorite place, Pinterest, again. Yep. And we wanted to show you the difference in how. As Dr. Fitzgerald says, wash your hands, wash your hands. Mm -hmm. So this kind of shows why we have to wash our hands before we touch anything. Yep, so we got three slices of bread and three separate Ziploc bags. 
Um, one was control that we took out with um, uh, a pair of tons. tons. Uh, the other one, uh, so what I did was I came into work, so I drove in my own vehicle. I actually scrubbed off my, uh, the, my vehicle with my scraper. Uh, I came into the building, opened yep. the door with my hands, sat down to my computer, checked my email. Then I went over, I handled the bread as much as I could with my hands, then put it in the Ziploc bag. For the third one, I sanitized my hands, then I cleaned my hands, uh, and then again took the loaf, the slice of bread out with my uh, my bare hands and placed it into the Ziploc container. Uh -huh. So, anybody got any comments, any thoughts on what you think is going to happen? I am just sort of winding the Facebook page here. Is that as I go. It, uh, it kind of grossed me out, to be honest. Yeah, yeah just watching, really... hiding it. Hey, Jerry. Kim's on there. Okay. Hey, so, folks, uh, this is our control. Okay, as you can see, slice of bread. There's is no mold or anything on it. Completely clear. And in case if you want to doubt us, we did take day by day pictures. Yep. So we can post those after we're done in the comment sections below. So control slice of bread. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Clean hands, one. Clean hands. <clears throat> Nothing. Nothing. I was expecting a little bit. I did. I expected yeah. a little tiny bit. Now it's starting to get a little bit stale. And I think, Jerry, you had to, you couldn't buy like baker's bread, like, you know, just bread at the store. Yep. You had to make, get like a homemade one. Right? Yes, yeah. Yes. Hi, Grade Threes from Gander Academy. Hi. Shout it out. Welcome. Um, so yeah, this was the uh, the uh, clean, clean hands, dirty hands. Oh dear. Are you ready? Oh boy. Okay. It is gross. Here you are, dirty hands. Can you see that? How disgusting. Yeah. Doctor oh. Fitzgerald has been telling us the best way to keep all of us healthy: clean your hands. Uh -huh. So this one we have black mold, uh, green mold, yellow mold. Uh, quite, quite. Gross. It's disgusting. And I think, Jerry, you're supposed to wash your hands while you sing happy birthday, perhaps? Yeah. Like that, you know, that gives you the amount of time that you're supposed to. Yeah. And remember, you don't clean in all them crevices. Absolutely. And, getting in oh, oh boy. So oh, this, good. this really just shows you. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, it's, it's so gross. It, oh. Yeah. And yeah. Kelly, uh, like you said earlier, like this won't work with like a baker's bread. No. Uh, I guess it must be some sort of chemical that they, uh, they add. Conservative, I guess. It probably will work after a while, but like yeah. I said, you know, we got mold the first couple days with nothing. Yeah. But then like over the weekend, it just yeah. really, really ballooned. Uh, yeah, right probably. up. Oh, disgusting. Oh, I got another grade three class from uh, Bridge Virgin class watching. Oh, hi. Hey, Thank you so much. Awesome. We're so That's excited great. for you to join us. So we're just going to grab our we're supplies grab for our another next one. experiment. Okay. Here we go. All right. Our next one. This looks very interesting. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm we're not wear, excited. We're going to wear gloves for this one. Yeah. So I, I, I love doing this uh, this uh, type of thing, Jared, because um, we normally do during winter carnival, our lists get messy, mm -hmm. and, and this kind of reminds me of it, and I just love that event. It's one of my favorites. It is. It's great. And of course, we all love science. Who doesn't love science? So, let's see what Jerry's taking in here yep. now. Pepsi. Okay. Apple Pepsi, juice. Apple, apple juice. Uh, grape. Ooh, our grape. Uh, I have uh, Super thrilled that uh, schools are uh, tuning in to us. Uh, yes. you know, it's a great opportunity. Uh, the wonders of technology. Yes. Uh, and here is our control, which is water. Yep. I'm just okay. going to move our breads out of the way. We yes. don't need those anymore. No, we don't. Remember, don't open that bag that has the moldy bread in it. Oh, please Definitely don't. Definitely don't. Oh, so, so yucky. Okay, so for this one, folks, what we're doing is we are just doing an experiment on uh, the effects of sugary beverages on your teeth. Okay. Uh, so what we did was we got uh, Pepsi, apple juice, uh, grape juice, Gatorade, uh, energy drink, and we used water as control salt. And you boiled the eggs, I believe, Jerry? Yep. Yeah. Now, I did say you could, you could boil them, you couldn't boil you didn't have to boil them, but I figured if I'm going to leave eggs out for at least 24 hours, I'll boil them uh, just so in smart. case. Yeah, so this, we actually did kind of a variant of this because we put some of our eggs, or these eggs, these here, which are mine, I believe, we put them in for 48 hours, and Jerry's were put in for 24 yeah. hours. So we just kind of wanted to see if you put them in for 48, would it be, would, would the egg get worse, or would it be okay? Like, is there any difference at all between 24 hours and 48? Absolutely. So here we are. So uh, we did have a little running bet going uh, mm -hmm. at the office as to which was going to be the worst. Yes. Um, so uh, any of you folks that are watching, what do you think is going to be the worst affected egg uh, out of the batch? Uh, Kelly, I believe you and Shannon both picked the Pepsi. We chose Pepsi, yeah. Yep. 
and I think Bev, um, Bev was at the, the Art Museum. Museum. Yep. Yes, and we had a, a guest yesterday mm -hmm. up by the office, yep. and uh, he chose the energy drink. Yep. And yours is? Mine was the, uh, the grape juice. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, where do we want to start? We're going to use our, our gloved hands for this one because we are reaching into uh, Pepsi and Mountain Juice and stuff like that. That's uh -huh. been sitting out for at least 24 or so, 48 hours. How about we go with controlled water first? Okay. Okay, so boiled egg. This one has been in the water for 48, 48 hours. All right, not a big lot of change there on that one. Still looks pretty much similar to uh, to how I plug it in. Yep. Jeanette says the soda is her okay. guess. Okay. Uh, Carrie Lee says the soda as well. So grade okay. three, standard French Immersion class, say the soda. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the right, right, right now. I'm just gonna lay it inside. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Pepsi break. for 24 hours. Okay. <laughs> so here we have Pepsi. 24 hours. Pepsi for 48 hours. Pepsi's for 48 Mine hours. Mine is a little bit darker for sure. Yeah, so if I give it a scrub, oh, some of that yeah. does come off, um, but it is uh, still pretty uh, pretty disgusting. Yeah, it doesn't really come off when I scrubbed here. No, it's only yeah, just a smidge. Right. Yeah, you can see a big difference in Monty Kelly's. Oh, uh, totally nice. Hers is, uh, is really cool. That's gross. <laughs> so that's what Pepsi does to you. Just saying to your teeth. Okay. okay, next up we have. Yeah, a lot of people saying apple juice. Okay. Yeah. It's best class as the apple or the soda as well. A lot of people saying okay. soda. Okay. Ugh, oh god, this oh. is. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, and that one's only. This is 48, 48 hours no, 20, of apple. No, twenty. Twenty-four. Yeah. 24 and mine is mine's not. Oh yeah, juice. it is. Yeah. Like you can really see. Oh, like, there's a lot see. of slime. Oh. Build up on this yeah. One. yeah. Yeah, this one too. Yeah. And this mine's a bit darker it for is. sure. Yeah. Oh, yuck. Gross. That is disgusting. Well, I'm glad I put the gloves on. Me too. <laughs> oh, thanks for suggesting that. All right, so soda or the grape juice grape next? Grape juice is next. This is your. This is the one you believe. Ooh, mine's all oh, slime. Mine's not so bad. Ooh, it's very purple. <laughs> okay, very purple. It is. <laughs> As you can see. That's the 24 hour one. Very purple there. Okay, and this is um, the 48 hour one. Same thing, uh, really slimy. Like you can like, uh, you can see yeah, the really, slime. Really gross. Oh gosh, this Absolutely. is what a mess. so yucky. I love so getting good. messy. Woohoo! So fun! Okay, uh, Gatorade. Gatorade. Okay. okay. I don't think there's much with this one. I don't either. No, I've got a very slight color change in mine. Yeah. Um, and mine actually does wipe off. Uh, pretty, pretty good there. Pretty okay. Quick uh, so I'm not really seeing a big change uh, in the Gatorade. Yeah, and this is the, yeah, mine's a tiny smidge darker, and mine's more at the top, like like you say, you can really just get all that gunk right off of there. Yeah. A good toothbrush and we'd be set, I think. Okay. All right, the energy so We're talking about the importance of washing your hands, the importance of brushing your teeth. Oh, man, you tune in here, you learn all kinds of stuff. I'm telling you, it's just okay. amazing. Energy drink is up next. Yeah. Oh, oh my. Mine actually looks, believe it or not, these are white eggs. Yeah. Mine actually now looks like a brown egg. Okay, and let's see. Oh. Mine does too. Yeah. Ooh, mine is real. Yours is a 48-hour one, right? Yeah. yeah, look at that. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can wipe it off. off. Yep, yep. You can wipe it off. Wow, I don't know. I'm going to bring mine a little bit closer to the yes. camera here, folks, so okay. we can see. So okay. these look to be the two worst ones. Okay, oh, so this one is okay. the energy drink one. Ooh. This one is the Pepsi one, as okay. you can see. Kelly's bringing hers. Mine were both in the uh, 48 or the 24 hour time frame. Mine are Kelly's. 48, and I brought the apple juice too. Oh, yeah. Just look, Absolutely. guys. Like, seriously. Gross. It is disgusting. Like, I, I do think the Pepsi one's the worst year because you can't rub the Pepsi one off at all. Like, just look, everyone. I'm trying to rub it off. It doesn't. This here, look, rubs off. Same with the apple juice one, kind of rubs off. But the Pepsi, you can't rub off. Well, you can, but it's going to take a bit. So, that'll just tell you. Absolutely. I think Gross. the Pepsi one, what you saying? Mm. <laughs> yep, Kelly, I, uh, I do believe you are right. Now, having said that, I think the worst, the biggest color change in the egg is from the energy, the energy drink. drink. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Ooh, um, ooh. But again, all of them, lots of, uh, of sugar. So. Oh, goodness. 
If you learn anything from today, oh. wash your hands. I'm going to grab that teeth. to Jerry to clean off that a little smidge. Yep, sounds good. I will move these out of the way and we'll get set up for our next one. Yes, which is our last one. It's like a grand finale. Um, and Shannon asks, uh, G2 Gatorade with less sugar. Yes, Shannon, it is the G2 Gatorade with the less sugar in it. Ah, so, uh, there you go. Okay. Do a little cleanup of our workspace. As we all know, it's super important to have a clean workspace. All oh, your workspaces are the key. Yep, big time. I think I need the water for this one right here. You do indeed. Yeah. Excellent, okay. Okay, so folks, uh, what we're doing here now is elephant Toothpaste. Ooh, so okay. fun. So, uh, disclaimer. Disclaimer, do not use this on your teeth. Yeah, it not. may look like toothpaste that elephants might use, but it's, it's not, not a good idea to use it no. on your teeth. No, please don't. This is just super fun, Jerry. I'm enjoying this immensely. Oh, don't we have like the so best Amanda White just says that she did the fluoride uh, or the egg experiment with her kids, and yeah. then she used Fluoride toothpaste versus non-fluoride toothpaste. Ah, so clean them. Such a cool idea. Cool. So was there a big difference, Amanda? Yeah. We want to know. Yeah. Okay, Kelly, so in your little container there now, yeah. uh, you're going to mix up two tablespoons of warm water. Okay. One tablespoon of yeast. Okay. I'm going to try not to get this open for things. <laughs> okay, so open toothpaste. Kelly is mixing up. Two tablespoons warm water, one tablespoon yeast. At the same time, I'm going to mix up half a cup hydrogen peroxide. Uh, this is 6% uh, hydrogen peroxide. It is a bit harder to come across. You can use the 3% uh, the which you can normally get everywhere. Um, but 6% uh, does work a little bit better with the reaction. crazy today. So one tablespoon one teaspoon of yeast. Oh, sorry, one teaspoon. Oopsie. I don't know if we have a teaspoon. Is that a teaspoon yeah. measure? I certainly do. One he second. does. One second. Doesn't really spell it out yet. So I was wondering how come I needed a, like almost two packs of yeast. But no, it's pretty much one pack of yeast. Look at you. I am making the biggest mess here, Jerry. I know. Yep. Just for you. Oh, I am not surprised. <laughs> oh, police. Anyone new? We'll be laughing here. What am I supposed to do once I get this in here, Jay? Okay, so you're just going to mix that again around so that it mixes together. So what I'm doing is I poured in half a cup of my 6% hydrogen peroxide. Mm -hmm. uh, I added about four or five squirts of food coloring. I'm going to give it a squirt of non liquid. Works best sometimes. Okay, so Kelly, now this is a new one for me too. I've only ever done this with 3% hydrogen peroxide. Oh gosh. So I'm very interested to see <laughs> what exactly. Going to happen so again, here. we could have a bit of a mess. I apologize in advance okay. to the guys who work here if we make a huge mess. So this is a new one for us. So let us see what okay, exactly will so happen. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Any thoughts in there in Facebook land? What you think is going to happen here? It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Are we going to need these safety goggles today? I think so. Okay. Okay. Listen. Ready? Yeah. Just four. Like it's all mixed up, but we're going to go. We're going to give her a go. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. Here we go. Okay, so we are getting chemical reaction. We are. And woo! Oh. Elephant toothpaste. So fun. <laughs> that is. It just oozes out, just, just like toothpaste. Oh, gosh. There it goes. Look, look, look. Ah, that's so awesome. It's zigzagging back and forth. So yeah. I'm turn it so you can see. Oh, my. See, here it goes. <laughs> is that not the most awesome science experiment ever? It's so fun. <laughs> so fun. I love it. So folks, uh, we can certainly post uh, this recipe uh, mm -hmm. on the, uh, in the comments section. Yep. Um, if you are doing this one, obviously the uh, thing you're going to need is um, a tray or tray something, or something yeah. a cookie sheet or anything like that yep. to, uh, to help. It yeah. uh, would be most beneficial. Yeah, and we, awesome. like I said, we're going to be here every few weeks doing uh, something on here. Plus, next week on our Facebook page, it's Valentine's Day week. Yay. So we're going to have contests every day, well, for five days, so from Monday to Friday, contests, plus then, um, if you enter all of them, you get a chance to win a grand prize. Life is good. Awesome. All right. All right. Thanks well, so much. It's awesome for, having you all, and yeah. uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you all again in a couple of weeks. All right.
Okay. Kelly, uh, next up we've got the craft one, right? Yes, we do. Which time we're doing uh, a winter craft. We are. Building a snowman. Building a snowman indoors. Thank you, don't need snow. Oh, thank goodness. Anyhow, thanks again. Jared's going to get this all switched off now and hopefully not have too much trouble with it. Bye-bye. <laughs>